Hi guys, welcome back. This is Shukesh. Today I'm gonna do a very very interesting speed test in between these two smartphones here. Of course, there is huge price difference in between these two. The iPhone 7 Jet Black I have on my left is almost four times pricier than this Motorola Moto G5 Plus. But I'm totally surprised to see how fast is the UI of this new Motorola mid-range. I mean, this smartphone has put to shame other competitors like Moto M, Redmi Note 4, thanks to the Android Nougat 7.0 and almost the stock user interface. Now there is barely any device that can compete iOS in terms of user interface speed and only the Google Pixel with Android 7.1 came very close. I think no good update is a milestone for Android as far as speed is concerned. Now iOS is too fast because the software is made for this hardware specifically and there is no skin or customization applied. On the other hand, the Motorola smartphone here also comes with almost the pure version of Android. So I am really curious to see how does this phone perform compared to the very premium iPhone 7. Of course, there is huge difference in benchmark, in specifications. I should also mention here the display resolution of the iPhone 7 is much lower than that this Moto G5 Plus. Now let's get started with the speed test and I will start with the boot test, followed by the fingerprint sensors and the third party apps and games. Well, Motorola smartphones take longer than usual to switch off whereas iPhones don't take more than few seconds. Now let's power on the devices. Once again iOS boots really fast, so in this boot test iPhone 7 is the sheer winner. Next let's check the fingerprint sensors, as you know on the iPhone 7 you have to push whereas Moto G5 Plus works with a touch. I think the G5 Plus was slightly faster. The animation on the iPhone 7 is to blame here, it can be disabled as you know by reducing the motion. Before I do so, let's quickly check once again. Definitely the G5 Plus is the winner if you don't mess with the setting to make it faster. Now let's go to the settings and there you get the option to reduce motion. Now let's see what happens this time. I think now iPhone 7 is pretty close, it takes some time to load. On the other hand, Moto G5 Plus bypasses the lock screen and you get an amazingly fast fingerprint sensor. Now there is also another option rest finger to open. Now you can unlock the phone just with touch when the screen is on. Still, I think the Motorola device is momentarily quicker. To make this test fair, let's switch hands. Once again, G5 Plus is the faster one. Now since nobody reduces motion, let's disable this feature on the iPhone 7 and I haven't also disabled the animation scale on the G5 Plus so let's keep the devices as it is. Now I'm gonna try some apps and games, let's start with the dialer. Well pretty close, I will say it's a tie. Next we have the gallery and of course iPhone 7 is the winner. Google Photos app is quite slow actually because of the logo at the start. Let's now try the camera app. Though camera started faster on the iPhone 7, if you include the auto focusing time then I think they are pretty close. Next, I'm gonna check the YouTube app. I think iPhone 7 was milliseconds quicker. I have also for you some Photoshop apps. Let's start with Lightroom. Once again, iPhone 7 is the faster one. We have the Photoshop mix and it also loaded quicker on the iPhone 7. Next, let's also check Flipkart and Amazon apps. Well, they loaded different pages, so let's move on to the next app. 
This time G5 Plus is the faster one. I have the same Facebook account logged in into this phones, so let's check. Well, iPhone 7 is taking longer than usual, but still I will say G5 Plus has won this test. I'm gonna try a few more third-party apps before I check the games. This CNET app has already loaded on the iPhone 7. The Android version on the G5 Plus is, as usual, pretty slow. Well, as you can see, Engadget app is quicker on the G5 Plus compared to the iPhone 7. iPhone 7 was slightly faster, I will say. Well, so far iPhone 7 won most of the test, but the Moto G5 Plus is also a very very fast device, especially the fingerprint sensor and few apps actually loaded quicker on this new Motorola mid-range. Considering the huge price difference, I will say Motorola did a really fine job here. As I mentioned before, G5 Plus also beats the Redmi Note 4 in speed test, despite having similar specs, mainly because of the stock UI. But when it comes to games, iOS is unstoppable, Android always struggles to load games, you have to wait every time so I don't think Moto G5 Plus will be able to keep pace with the very premium iPhone 7 we have here. Let's quickly load a few more games before I show you the RAM management. As expected, iPhone 7 is ready and G5 Plus is still loading. There you go. I think compared to most of the other similarly priced or higher priced Android devices, G5 Plus is performing quite well, but still not up to the mark when you put it side by side with the iPhone 7. Let's see what happens on Asphalt 8 and it's already loaded on the iPhone 7. G5 Plus is also not far behind. The next game I have for you is Temple Run 2. It's ready on the iPhone 7 and loading on the G5 Plus. Well, let's open a few more games to check the RAM management. Once again, iPhone 7 is quicker. Interestingly, the Motorola smartphone opened Pokemon Go before the iPhone 7. As usual, iPhone 7 won and G5 Plus lost. Now it's time for the RAM management test. We have 2GB RAM on the iPhone 7 and 4GB on the G5 Plus. So you have twice the RAM. Let's see how good is the RAM management of the new Moto G5 Plus. Though you have just 2GB RAM, iPhones handle multitasking quite well actually. So let's try to open the first app I have here in the app switcher. Well, as you can see, Google Photos app reloaded whereas you still have it in the memory of the iPhone 7. So looks like despite having 4GB of RAM, it's not as efficient as the 2GB RAM you have on the iPhone. There you go, YouTube is also reloading the feed on the Motorola device. Well, Adobe Lightroom is still on the memory of G5+. Plus. Next we have Facebook and you have it in the memory of both devices though iPhone loads it faster. You have the Engadget app ready on both phones as well. So the RAM management of the G5 Plus is actually quite good. Only one or two apps from the start are missing. Well Modern Combat 5 is reloading from the start on the Motorola smartphone and though it's still in the RAM of iPhone 7 it's loading again. As you can see, both phones here are reloading Brothers in Arms 3. I have opened so many apps, so looks like 4GB RAM of G5 Plus is not good enough for this amount of apps and... Before I conclude, let's open few more recent games I have played. Trigger 2 is ready on both phones here. These games kicked out few of the other games and apps from the RAM. So the RAM management of these two phones here are very close though it's worth mentioning on the iPhone 7 you have almost all the apps including third party apps whereas Moto G5 Plus lost few apps from the start. 
well friends we are at the end of this very interesting speed test and I will say Moto G5 Plus is a very fast device considering the specs and I am quite curious to see how does this phone perform against Google Pixel which runs on Android 7 as well. So wait for a while, the video will be uploaded very soon, I will drop the link in the description below. If you liked this review, you can thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel, I would really appreciate that. This is Shukesh signing off, have a nice day guys.